Welcome back. This is episode 13, season two. Veronique Von Venom, horror hostess hottie. And I'm Frisco, just fresh back from Hawaii. Oh, How are you, my dear? We needed it, a whole month. A whole Sun, month. men, oh, my ties. Can I just take a minute to talk about the men? Yes, you may. Okay, so when we got to Hawaii, I got laid. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm not talking he about... He didn't even get off the plane. No. He I'm got not, laid. Yeah, I did. And there was this Mandingo man that I saw out there on the beach. And I approached him and I asked him if he was getting ready to get into some sort of tussle. Took me out for a drink and guess what? Made my night. I think you made his. He made me Honolulu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so dirty. I have my days only on the days that end in Y though. <laughs> anyway, we really needed that vacation. We worked hard on season two. We really We really did. We went through seasons. There was a lot. Yeah. What were you the highlight? What was your favorite part of season two? My favorite part of season two? You mean season one. Season one. <laughs> it's okay. You're blonde. I need another vacation. Don't even worry about it. So anyways, the thing that I liked the most about season one <laughs> was the fact that we got to review some really good movies. And uh, some really bad ones. When we did the They're Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> I okay. love that. It was so good. So good. Oh, I should probably get rid of these. Blue balls? <laughs> you know it. Um, so anyways, what are we doing on this season? Well, this know. season we have a lot of stuff going on. Um, remember, if we ended uh, with the possibility of getting back on the air, mm -hmm. getting some money. Not a lot, but <laughs> yeah. it certainly beats my dungeon. And I have this voicemail from Ron. Mm -hmm. And should I play it? You should play it. Okay. You guys want to hear it played, right? I don't know what's going to happen. Okay, ready? Okay. Hey, Veronique, this is Ron. Just wanted to give you a call. Make sure you're back from Hawaii. Hope you had a good trip. Um, saw season one. Uh, look, you look great. Your boobs look awesome. Um, you know, I think I can get you back on the air. Um, hang on. Give me a second here. I don't think you knew I was going to play this on the air. That's disgusting. Oh. Conditions, though, to get you back on the air. Uh, we'll talk about those next week, so save some room for me down in the dungeon. I'm thinking about you naked. <laughs> thinking about you naked. Being gross on the toilet. Did he just take a crap while he called me? <laughs> Whatever, that guy's full of crap anyway. If he wants to see me naked, he can watch one of the horror movies I die in. Yeah? Well. It's not like a mystery. If he wants to see me naked, all he has to pay is $25.95 on PPV. <laughs> How's that going, by the way? <laughs> well, I paid for the vacation, so I guess it's going pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty nice. Bought me my new bikini. You like it? I like it. Is this a rainbow? Yeah. I mean, you know. They, I like the little happy star on the nipple. Well, they I say like that I'm too. a star and I'm always happy. Yeah. And most people associate rainbows with being gay, obviously. And, I mean, <laughs> who couldn't tell? And the other thing is, like, That lady you know, last time, remember? I like you to You had just... a fan that thought you were straight and we broke her heart. Yeah. But I like to go up to people in this, and I just whisper, and I go, taste the rainbow. And then I get their number. That's what I do. I don't know how you do it. I don't even get laid in Hawaii. Well, we have this new segment for season two. Yay! New segment! <laughs> we met this wonderful person in Hawaii, Carlova, and she's going to be giving relationship advice. I would thought I would Which we both got off we need. Yeah. The whole Zeus incident and I'm, Clarice and well, Ron yeah. is probably just more sexual harassment about to happen. But. You sound like you need the relationship advice a little more than me. I'm a little bit of a player. So I That's don't need no a relationship. Problem. I'm fine by myself. I'm single. I'm fine by myself and blow job. Okay. Well, here's Carlova. Yay! Carlova, oh how are gosh. you? Oh my gosh, weren't those penis coladas so good? Oh, they were pretty I love good. That. Love it, love Very the creamy. cherries. It's so good. Mm -hmm. My favorite kind of penis colada is not the one that comes in a glass, just the one that comes in the form of a man. Mm. How about you? I uh, I didn't get any penis colada when I was in Hawaii. No. I, um, I'm still a little torn up from season one. I don't know if you know, there was 
I was some backstabbing involved and Zeus and uh, every time I looked at a pina colada I just thought Zeus juice. Mm. Tear. <sighs> Sometimes you just gotta get over those humps in life and go out and live your I life in a those hump. humps. They were really good. <sighs> I digress. So I have a question. I do some sex and relationship advice. So I have a question. Horror related. You guys ready for it? It's horror related? It is. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's from Jane W. Her question is, I've been with my boyfriend for four years. We met at a horror convention, and I only just found out that he thinks The Shining is stupid. I assumed he would love it, so I never thought to ask. Uh, do you think this is a deal breaker because my heart feels broken? Of course it is. Um, they need to consider therapy, right? Because um, I would hate to tell somebody to break up with their boyfriend, but that's pretty pretty heavy, don't you think? Uh, how did he not get beat down at the horror convention with exactly. those kinds of sentiments? I don't understand how you could not, like, it's can, I, can I just say something? To our viewers out there, if you don't like Stanley Kubrick's The Shining and Jack Nicholson's performance, Shelley Duvall's performance, little Danny who never wound up doing anything else with the rest of his career except playing Danny in The Shining, you've got a problem. The cinematography, the score, everything in that movie is uber duber greedy. And you don't deserve to have any of the JJ, Mr. Mister. So get a life and watch some Shining. Yes, I have to agree. I mean, the walking backwards in the snow, every part of that movie was beautifully genius. Yeah. I'm still terrified of crappy hotels. Mm. It was a nice hotel, it was just. I would have stayed there. Those dog people, the costumes. Mm, I don't know, but he was doing something too. Doggy style. <laughs> or bear style. I don't know what the hell it was. No one does. So I would say kick him to the curb because you deserve better, girl. Very much so. I know, right? And I put it on Twitter just so everyone can beat him up and make for fun sure. of him forever. That's what he deserves. That's it. Well, thank you. You're um, welcome. Thanks for having no me. No problem. Is that it? That's all she's doing. Do you only have one question? Yeah, that's it for today. All right, well, people, you're going to have to start emailing us and, and writing Please. more questions. As long as they're horror related yeah. and relationship related. Yes. Yeah. Like the song well, goes, let's give us something to talk about. Horror and love. I don't know that part. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you don't want love. Well, now we're going to have the top five vacation horror movies oh my of all God. time. I'm so excited. I know. I mean, bad stuff happens when you camp or go to a crappy foreign country. Sure, when you find a glory hole at the fucking, uh, I mean. Like, that's a horror movie. You like that stuff. I do. Did you ever see Rest Stop? I thought that was going to be about something different. Number five mm -hmm. is The Descent. Ooh, The Descent. Into what? Oh, the rocks! The hills, huh? The hole. The little, oh, I love to You wouldn't know anything about hole. holes, would nothing, you? Nothing, Jesus. nothing at all. A horror movie about holes. Oh, he can't watch that. That's yeah. disgusting. It gets violent. Number four is An American Werewolf in London. Oh, so good. John Landis. The, I, think, oh. a little, I didn't like the little wolf dog thing, though. Why? I wanted him to be like... That's okay. Sometimes I mean, big, big things to... have smaller packages. And I don't even like Twilight, but I dear big bad wolf. Mm. Mm. Right? Blow that house down. Jesus. <laughs> Number three is The Hills Have Eyes. Ooh, that was the movie. original. The uh, original, I have to say that. I actually like the remake better than the original. What? I know, right? It is pretty good. It's pretty good. Alexandra Aja, it's he made good. like a really great film. I thought it was really good. I loved, loved the practical effects in that movie. But I, I don't know. I feel like Alexander Aya has like not really had like the best career since then. I don't know. I mean, it is hard to make mutant rape mainstream, and they did it. I don't know. That was a really good scene, though. I like it when they're clawing, <laughs> trying to get away. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, radioactivity is one of the beginning things to any horror movie. Yeah. That and funny gas and um, oh, all just kinds camping, of, basically. All kinds of Number two is Evil Dead, 1981. Way Ash on dead. my arm, Evil Dead 2, gotta represent. It's so good. He's like a little demon. I just, oh, I just love him. He's just, he's just so sexy. This, you, sorry. I'm surprised. Well, it is on your right arm. That kind of makes sense. And number one is The Shining. Oh. And if you say Shining, I'm gonna smack your face off. <laughs> no way. The Shining is one of the best films ever made in the history of horror cinema. Oh. Bar none. I can't believe you actually don't have that on you somewhere. 
Uh, you know, I was thinking about getting red rum tattooed on my back, but then... You should make it a tramp stamp. I was thinking about it. I was thinking red about rum it. tramp stamp. Or I was thinking about, like, getting it tattooed on the side of when it got bigger, spell out red rum, smaller, just spell out rum. Because that's what you drink. Oh, and I'm the weirdo, right? I don't know. That's pretty weird. So we have this new part of season two that we decided would be awesome. Okay. It's a little bit mystery science theater ripoff, but way better. That's my favorite. Trailer commentary. Trailer Fun. commentary. The best B horror movies you'll never see. Never. But you know what? Thanks to YouTube, you can find anything. You, you really ready? can. I've seen yeah. everything on YouTube. I've seen a lot of your stuff. Oh, it's okay, though. So Man, let's embarrass. go ahead and get into some trailer commentary. Oh, and uh, I'll see you in episode 14. Mm, it's gonna be <laughs> we'll put some clothes on. I see what we do for ratings. This is ridiculous. I do anything for ratings, girl. I do anything for anything. Psst, I'm a I saw what you did for a slushie. System. What? Remember what you did for a slushie? In Hawaii. I thought we said we weren't going to talk about that. Oh, it's kind of hard not to. That's on YouTube. That made it on That's YouTube? No. <laughs> Lightning. Lightning like pictures, <laughs> pictures of lightning. I don't need this. Oh, what? what do you not need, Ethan Supley? Is this a commercial? It looks like this intro to Freddy Krueger's Nightmares what is 2. This? Is he always on your back? Look at that. Oh, look at that. Jeez. Oh, man, looks like my. Looks like a Tim and Eric episode. Is that Gary Busey? Is this a horror movie? I don't know. Do you ever feel like forgetting the whole thing? The whole cast is bums. Hi, I'm a bum. Hey, I'm a bum. I'm a bigger bum. Money you save by hiring transients for all your roles. Look at these. Look at this. Uh oh. What? Oh my gosh, boobs. Wow, they really enjoy living in Whoa, whoa, the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa! Usually the melons go up top, buddy. I know. Uh-oh. What's in there? I don't know. As it's price. It's a crate. Is it Fluffly from, from Creepshow? There's always Is it for Jilly? Oh. Oh, it's alcohol. It's like molasses. A bum's bite. Here's to you, pussy. Oh, there you go. Whoa. Pussy. Pussy jokes. Whoa! Oh, oh whoa, man. he sucked off a smurf. <laughs> oh no! Dude. He's gonna blow! Ah! Whoa. Yellow! The? That's what McDonald's looks like. I still have no idea what this is. Whoa, it's whoa, totally it's, blew up! It's yeah. totally blew up! <laughs> it reminds me of those slimes you used to get for 25 cents in the vending machine. Yeah. Oh! Oh man. What's happening? Is he dissolving into the toilet? Oh my gosh. Wow, this looks amazing. Did they run out of red blood? What's going on? I don't know. I think they're just maybe Why drinking. Why is everyone drinking it? If you saw people blowing up with slime, it's Drano. Wow! God damn! He just found out He's on his period. that the cinematographer won Street. Best Cinematography. Street trash! I told you, they're all transients. Oh my gosh. No one got paid for this.